So there's a vast number of things that Khalif, Lakel, and Keffel have ruined in Dragon Ball, but one thing in particular that they have ruined that nobody seems to be talking about is fusion. Yes, they have ruined fusion and not in the way that you might think. A lot of people think that I'm talking about the whole power scaling thing, how they should be nothing to Super Saiyan God Goku, let alone Super Saiyan Blue and Super Saiyan Blue Kyle Ken but she's ruined fusion in a way that you wouldn't see. So typically when we've talked about fusions in the past and when anyone has really spoken about fusions in the past, there seems to be one constant. There's always a mix of two characters when they do a fusion. Like they take two dominant personalities, they take those two personalities and they mix them. So to give an example, look at Gotenks. You have Goten's playfulness and childishness and then you have Trunks' pride and cockiness mixed into one. With, you know, Vegito, you have Goku's carelessness mixed in with Vegeta's pride. With Gogeta, you have Goku's intensity with Vegeta's pride. And with Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, you return back to the Vegito formula of having Goku's carelessness and Vegeta's pride. But there's always a mixture of the two personalities coming into one being. Now the only exceptions to those rules are the Kai's. Now with Kabito and Shin fusing, you pretty much just had Kabito Kai, which was basically a Shin alt skin, Shin alt personality, whatever. There was nothing of Kabito left. Then you look at Zamas, which I think he's a rare exception because Goku Black was just Zamas anyway, so he was gonna act like Zamasu no matter what you did. So it's not really clear on him, but we know that the only exceptions are fusions involving Kai's. So when you look at Kefla, again, she breaks this rule. All she is is a Khalifla alt skin. There's nothing involving Kale in that fusing, nothing. Kefla is just Khalifla and Khalifla is nothing but a Gotenks wannabe ripoff. So that's how they ruined the fusion. It's not necessarily power scaling, which they ruined that. It's not necessarily the Super Saiyan thing. They ruined that too, but they ruined the whole philosophy and the build of what a fusion is supposed to be between two non-Kai entities. I don't know how much more they have to destroy before they get eliminated this Saturday, which I'm gonna be holding a big celebration. I, I can't wait for the moment to see them get wrung out by Goku, Ultra Instinct, the champion of the people, just blowing her away with a Kamehameha wave. I, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm gonna relish that moment so much. But let me know what you think in the comment section below, guys. Of course, I've been your perfect being a super Itachi, drawing to your attention Khalifa, Kale, and Kefla, ruining another aspect of Dragon Ball. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell to become a part of the greatest anime, Dragon Ball, and gaming channel on YouTube. Yes, the name is Perfection, and I will see you in the next video.